Hey Stampers! Welcome to another Watch It Weekly Wednesday video. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I am here to show you some great birthday bonanza ideas. We recently had a get together and we, at our big get togethers, we invite our team and customers and we do a card contest. And I wanna say we selfishly do it because we really like to get the ideas. <laughs> we have some creative, creative friends in our midst. One of the ideas we received that I fell immediately in love with was this card by Carl Bretthauer. He is a demonstrator from Utah and he is part of Jill's team. And we've known him for quite a few years and he's attended our events and we know he's a great stamper, but this card just blew my mind. It's so cute. I love how he watercolored. I love the colors he used and I love those little koalas. They are so cute. So I was really inspired after seeing this card and I wanted to come back and create using this suite of products from the mini catalog. First, let me show you what the suite of products are. There is this great stamp set. And if you are an avid stamper, you probably love builder stamp sets. I think that's kind of a given. We love little PC things that we can build and make scenes of, and it's just so fun. This stamp set is photopolymer, so you can see through it, which makes it really, really handy when you're building on top of each other. There's a cute little koala, a lion that you can build, and a toucan, so little animals. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, kids, I have young children, and it's hard to find birthday cards for young children that aren't really cheesy. So that was kind of my inspiration between my, that was my inspiration behind my creations today was that I wanted to make some really cute things for kids. There's also these great dies that come that cut out your little animals. They have these little banner dies in here and a really cute tag die, a cute little party hat. It was just a really fun set to work with. And the nice thing about the designer series paper is they've got these, the toucan and they have the koala and this little lion and you can cut them out using the dies. So it makes it really easy. Even if you're not someone who loves to stamp, you can just use the designer series paper and get, sit, get the same great effect. And the paper is just fun. The colors are bright. It's just really, really cute. Another thing from this suite is this ribbon. It is Daffodil Delight ribbon. It's a little bit thinner, which I like, but super easy to tie and it's a really good selling point for me if I can tie a ribbon really easily. And then we have these really cute little pom-poms. They are so fun. They come in the Grapefruit Grove, Bermuda Bay White, and Terracotta Tile. And can I tell you, my love for Terracotta Tile has been totally renewed in working with this paper and these products. It is such a fun color. It's not super, super harsh orange. It's just the right amount of orange. I really, really like Terracotta Tile. I think you'll see that in my projects that I made today. So let me show you what I started with. Here was Carl's card, and I love that he used the Melon Mambo. So that's kind of, I went with the same color scheme and of course the koalas because I love those cute koalas. So I started with this one, happy birthday. You can build the koalas up. You can use lots of dimension, really, really cute. One tip that I would give in working with the builder stamp sets is keep your glue handy. I really like the Tombow liquid glue that we have that we carry. We call it green glue here in the office. And it's just so easy to stick something on with a little dab. It dries clear. It, I really, really like this glue for little builder stamp sets. But you also have to have dimension. So little mini dimensionals, we love those for these little bits of pieces. But if you don't pop things up, it can look really flat. You gotta have that extra texture. So I love that one. My next card, I kept with the koala. I think I really liked him. But I just built him up and I loved using this banner as kind of a frame on the side. I thought that was really cute. That's a little banner from the die set. And then I worked with a toucan, cute little gift tag. Who doesn't need a bunch of these to keep in your collection so you can toss them on a present really easily. I used the tag die from the die set, but then I used the banner punch here to kind of show that cute balloon paper through a little bit more and that fit in there really nice. It was really fun. I love the addition of this Bermuda Bay striped ribbon. It works perfectly with this suite. It's really, really cute. And then I had to move on to the lion and I, I really love that koala, but I think the lion was my favorite because you can just build up his little mane and his tail. It's a little crazy, but so cute. And I love this banner die in that set. So fun, so, so fun, cute. But then I got to thinking, if you're gonna have a kid's birthday party, you can do more things. 
So I made a banner next. I put on it Wild For You. For the letters on my banner, I used the hand lettered prose die set that's in our annual catalog. Super cute, just cut out those letters. I added on some little friends here and that banner die. I just think that is so, so cute. So yeah, I did that and then I thought, what else at a kid's party do you need? Well, you need birthday hats. I found just really, with a quick Google search, I found this easy little party hat template. I just cut it out and then I traced it on my 12 by 12 piece of paper. I bet you could only get one out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. I put this together with tear and tape and then added a little pom pom here and the little ribbon here. I used the crushed curry taffeta and I thought that color worked okay with it. It was really cute. It was fun to play with. And this is what I mean by the terracotta tile color. I just love it. Isn't it so cute? It just brings out my little lion friend in that hat. So cute. So let me show you. This is actually from our terracotta tile scalloped linen ribbon that we carry in the annual catalog. I wanted a terracotta tile color on the top, but we don't carry just the terracotta tile ribbon. We carry this one. So I got creative and I ripped off this ribbon like this. I just pulled it off. <laughs> And that's how I got my little scraps. I pulled off some of this and you've got it doubled. So I probably used like a 12 inch piece, pulled off both sides. And then I wrapped it around my fingers like this and tied it with another little piece of twine and then cut and cut. And you get your little pom pom look like that. So it's fun to think of products in different ways, and I encourage you to do that in your creating. I hope you've loved this birthday bonanza suite as much as I have, and that you'll create something for a little one in your life soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Watch a Weekly Wednesday.